is just a class, right? And maybe we want to add the same behavior to almost everything. Well, let's go a step further. Let's make it a component that we can add to anything and it will work. How would we do that? Well, let's create a component. And that sounds like a core part of, of my game. So uh, I'm going to create a folder here, game objects. And I'm going to create a component here, actor component, blueprint. And I'm going to call it uh, shootable component. Now here I need the same code, but this is not an actor, so I cannot do, I cannot apply, well, I cannot do point damage. I can only apply damage. So the way we're going to do this is in the begin play, we're going to do some binding. And this can sound like uh, some complicated stuff but it's it's just we have the target here and we want to use this event well we just need to bind it here in another class like let's get the owner the owner is my blueprint this is my blueprint we have an event point damage and i'm gonna bind on Oh, there, there isn't a point damage. No, there is. Bind event on take point damage. This is here because, like I said, every actor supports applying and receiving damage. If we click on bind, it will create this binding. If you do not want to create the event and do something like this, then you could also use the assign one. Assign assign if i can type right on take point damage and this creates a, an event for us which is the event i i'm gonna need you could also create the same event by dragging and dropping here and add event oh well it, it, just use create event and in select function, you can select something you have already created, or you can create a matching function or a matching event. Here it is. So there are a lot of ways to set up this. For now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to bind it. So every time the on the take, every time this owner, that is the target in this case, takes damage, I can do something with that. So. I'm gonna here create my event because I do not like crossing too much the wires like this. I'm gonna do it like this and it's exactly the same. And now I have a damaged actor, damage hit it, instigated by hit location, the same stuff I, I had here. So I'm gonna do something like this. We do not have an static mesh right now, but we don't know if my actor has an static mesh. So I'm going to just simulate the actor. Set simulate set physics. So I can, right, I cannot simulate the physics of an actor. I believe the physics it's the component from the static mesh. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's property right. of this stuff. That's absolutely right. And we will need to get a static mesh component of the actor to then get the physics enable or disable, I believe. Well, we can ask the, the actor get component, get, con get component by class. Maybe there are more than one static mesh. I'm going to assume there is only one for now. Or I can just ask which component I hit. 
and I can simulate the physics on that. That's even easier. Let's simulate physics on the heat component, simulate, and I want to also add the impulse the same way I did before. The location will be the shot, no, the heat location. And the impulse, we, we know that it will be the shot from direction plus a force. Maybe we could get this force from the gun, but for now, let's keep it simple. Let's create it here. And I was using 10,000 over 9,000. Perfect. Now, with this done, I can go here, and in this cube, I can add my component. It's called shootable. And I do not need to do anything, because my component already binds the on take point damage, and this just get, gets in charge of simulating the physics and anything. So let's press play. And it should move, maybe a little, but it may be... Maybe weights too much. It may weigh too much, yeah. Oh, let me test if my component is, is working correctly here with my target. I'm gonna add it. Uh, I'm gonna add it in the in the blueprint. Uh, shootable, shootable. I'm gonna delete this. Save, shootable component, play. And it is working. And why is it not moving any, any of my uh, meshes here? Maybe it's because they are starting. I believe no. it's already, by default, these are set to physics. Maybe you can try to shoot that one. You can uncheck this one, I think, just in case. Uh, uncheck it and see if that's making it Could worse. Be. <laughs> it can also be that the force is not yeah. strong enough. It's the force. It's the force. It, it shouldn't matter if it if I'm simulating yeah. the physics or not. So let's let's ramp up the force. Uh, shootable component force. I'm gonna add three zeros. It should work. There it is. Okay. There you go. And now you got your bazooka. Yeah, yeah. It it may be too too much force, but. This means that I could also add it to this one that is not being simulated. I can oh, man. shootable and I do need to put it movable. And I can move oh. anything, anything that I want that, well, that I add that component. Too strong. 